Hello guys! Welcome back again to our YouTube channel! Han and Kai! Have you missed us? <laughs> Charis! <laughs> so, um, today, uh, we cannot wait to share it again with you another immigration success stories from our uh, Slovenian and Filipina couple that we assist as well on their visa application. And we are happy that this couple received their approved visa last October 2023. And uh, this couple is the applicant um, in Croatia. So, uh, itong si Guy ay nag-work sa Croatia. And he is an Slovenian working in Croatia. So, they apply in Croatia and we are happy that they're uh, uh, we are happy because uh, we are the one handling their documents. And thank you guys for trusting us as well to be part of your uh, visa application. And it was success approved visa. And now that they are approved, we are happy as well that this October 2023, they are now together. And um, thank you as well for still until their visa application and then uh till the immigration and to be together again uh we are happy that we are part of their uh, success stories and um we would like to say thank you ara and um Evic for sharing your stories with us and this uh this your immigration success will give ideas and inspiration to others as well that planning to visit croatia soon so guys uh they're already met before as well in philippines and now this time uh they decided naman that this filipina will visit the croatia or europe diba? and we are happy that we are the one handling their documentation as well and thank you for sharing your immigration stories here. So, huwag na nating palalampasin pa kung ano yung nangyari kay Miss Ara and ano yung mga pre-provide niya sa kanyang immigration uh, experience hanggang sa Philippines to So, nag-exit siya sa Venice, Italy. Kasi doon mas malapit yung, um, yung place nila sa Croatia. Okay? So, huwag so, na, na natin palalampasin pa. And to share her story. So thank you, Miss Ara, for sharing your story with us. And hopefully to others as well, we'll give you inspiration on this story. So my papers ako, guys, para naman may notes tayo, di ba? At hindi tayo ma lito <laughs> sa mga share natin sa ating mga viewers today. So si Miss Ara, or ang ating uh, Filipina, ay first time na mag-travel outside Philippines. So it's her first time applying in uh, Europe. So uh, nag departure siya sa Cebu to Cebu Philippines to Frankfurt Germany then Venice. Okay, so yun yung uh, experience or yung travel niya this October. Cebu Philippines, Frankfurt Germany and then Venice siya nag arrive. So um, everything went well naman. But then, yung immigration officer in Philippines, because it's her first time flying outside or uh, uh, traveling outside the Philippines, so sa immigration in Cebu, medyo naging mahigpit sa kanya ang ating immigration officer. So we will share her story now. So when she arrived in immigration officer, um, yung mga questions sa kanya ng immigration are this. So, of course, confident naman siya. But you will, you don't know the uh, questions that the immigration will ask you. So, these are the questions that she encountered to this immigration officer in Philippines, in Cebu. So, sabi ng immigration officer sa kanya, ano ang gagawin mo sa Croatia? Anong type of your visa? So, of course, her type is type C, visit visa. Uh, visiting the boyfriend in Croatia. 
So, ano pa yung mga questions? Kaano ano mo yung sponsor? Of course, boyfriend niya. Ano yung trabaho ni sponsor? So, they are asking like this. Alam ba ng parents mo na pupunta ka dito sa Croatia? Then, tapos tinanong din siya ng immigration officer kung mayroon siyang invitation letter. Of course, pero siyang invitation letter kasi one of the requirements yon sa visa, di ba? So, uh, invitation letter from the sponsor. Meron din siya. So, sabi niya, meron po akong documents na nasa bag ko. Then, kinuha niya po ito. Then, uh, she show it sa ating immigration officer. So, she provide a envelope or folder that all her document was there. And then, the immigration check it. Okay? So, ano ba yung mga main requirements na pre-provide ng ating Pilipina? So, of course, the main requirements is passport, return ticket, visa, e-travel. So, yan yung main requirements, guys. Okay? So, sinabihan ko rin sila na ito yung i-provide ng additional documents in case that the immigration will look for your documents. So, ano ba yung mga additional documents na in-inform ko sa kanila? Of course, the invitation letter, passport copy of the sponsor on the BF, letter of the guarantee as one of the requirements in visa application, letter of affidavit of support, and as they are also met in Philippines as well, their photos together that they are really met before, and then, of course, the travel insurance that they uh, provide as well in their visa application. So, Kung ano pa yung pre-provide nyo rin as well sa inyong visa before, you can bring that as well and add it in your documentation in case the uh, immigration will look for you. So, additional din yung strong ties mo, guys. So, yun yung mga additional documents na pwede mong ipakita in case they are looking for the strong ties. Like, if you're employed, if you're a student, provide ka rin yan. Kung ano yung sinabmit mo sa visa mo, guys, makakatulong yan sa inyo. So, I advise her na kung ano yung sinagmit mo sa visa mo, kindly print it and put it in an envelope or folder. So, para ready siya. So, she did it and yeah, the next thing that the immigration did, so ito po yung sabi niya sa atin, then after pong i-check ng immigration officer natin sa Philippines, pumunta po siya sa isang immigration. Then they talk for almost five minutes. And while they're talking, she also bring my documents. Parang pinakita niya na ito yung, ito yung nasa uh, case ko or ito yung uh, ina ko ngayon. Are we allowing this Filipina to travel Croatia first time? Then after five minutes of talking, she returned in her, in her, or after five minutes of talking to the other immigration, she returned or he returned. I don't know the immigration if it's a girl or boy. I didn't ask. So, it's depend. So, then bumalik po itong immigration officer. Then, he, re he or she returned my, my folder. And then they said, or he said, the immigration officer, he or she said, um, please make sure that you will return back in January. So, approved kasi siya ng 90 days. So, please return back in January. Safe and sound. If you don't return, tinakot siya guys. <laughs> if you don't return, we will blacklist your boyfriend here in Philippines. So, yun ang sinabi sa kanya ng ating immigration. Kapag hindi daw nag, uh, bumalik si Filipina sa Philippines, then uh, we will block your boyfriend or your partner here in Philippines so he cannot enter here in Philippines. That's, that's what they said. Um, and then after that, she allow, they give her a stamp na you can now uh, travel Europe or Croatia, di ba? So, sabi naman niya, yes, I will return in January next year for my proper documentation here. Then, sabi ko nga, uh, from um, Cebu, Philippines, Frankfurt, Germany, then Frankfurt, Venice. So, then, nung nasa Frankfurt na siya, so, another checking in immigration and we call it police, immigration. So, pagdating niya sa Frankfurt, uh, tinanong siya kung saan yung next destination niya. So, sabi niya is Venice. 
dun siya mag exit Then, the immigration officer in Frankfurt asking as well, ano yung gagawin mo sa uh, Venice or Croatian? So, sabi niya, uh, I'm visiting my boyfriend and ano yung pang and they asking ano yung pangalan ni BF niya. Then, she answered as well. Then, after that, they allow her now to go to the next airplane. And then, the immigration officer in Frankfurt said, uh, enjoy your vacation in Croatia. So, then, after that, in Frankfurt, mag-exit na siya sa Venice to go to Croatia. So, pagdating niya sa Venice, wala naman daw naging problem dahil electronic, uh, electronic na yung process doon. So, walang immigration officer. <laughs> so, when she arrived in Venice, it was safe and sound. And they gave her a uh, electronic stamp na lang. And wala na immigration. Then, they meet again. <laughs> they meet and happy around. <laughs> Charisse. So, yun yung naging uh, uh, experience ng ating uh, immigration success stories today and yeah she applied 90 days and we are happy na approved 90 days and also the couples are happy that they are approved 90 days by our health so thank you thank you Eric and Ara for allowing us to share your experience here and hopefully we meet you <laughs> in the future <laughs> so me and my husband are happy to uh, be part of your success immigration stories success visa and now you are together so thank you guys and also to the uh soon uh traveling as well in croatia hopefully that this vlog or immigration success story will give you ideas and tips about her experience in the immigration in Philippines to Venice. So thank you guys and hopefully you get ideas here and please don't forget to click our vlogs, subscribe on our YouTube channel so you're always notified on our next vlog that we will share here. Also, baka may mga magta-travel, then we are happy na uh, ibahagi ang inyong success story din sa iba para magka-idea sila. Just, uh, message us through our Facebook in the description below or in our Instagram. Connect with us and we are happy to connect with you as well. So thank you guys and God bless on your future travels and cheers!